Hello, my name is Leon Liss. I want to show you what we did with our basement. Um, so most of the basement is done in uh, French advertising posters. Uh, we've thrifted them along the way, uh, bought some frames at thrift stores, bought the posters online. Uh, here we have a little chest set area. Uh, moving this way, we have the family area, TV, the plants that I take in from outside in the winter and the exercise area uh, over here some more French posters uh, art area for the kids but moving on this way this is the uh, my French wine bar uh, so on the right you'll see that um, there's a bunch of wine crates and my collection of uh, soup terrains. Um, the, the bar is uh, named and styled after Chez George on Rue de Canet in Paris. Uh, Chez George is a little French wine bar across the street from our hotel in Paris. We go there uh, often. We stay at the same hotel every time. And uh, a couple of years ago during COVID, when, uh, when uh, we couldn't travel, um, I took that opportunity and I uh, built the French wine bar in my house instead. Moving inside, here's the bar. I designed the bar to look like a Parisian wine bar or a Parisian wine cave. Um, a lot of things here are thrifted. Uh, most of the posters are either Art Deco or Art Nouveau. And the idea was for the pub, for the bar to look uh, like it may have been uh, built in the 1880s and over time has evolved into the 1930s. Over here you see an old radio the console radio, uh, the guts have been replaced by Bluetooth speaker, um, so I can play uh, I can play music out of there. An old stained glass window salvaged from church. The built-in uh, liquor cabinets or wine cabinets are from old wine crates. Here is an old uh, old style Sears catalog, probably uh, Sears catalog uh, buffet. And here I have my bourbon and my bourbon glasses. Here is a absinthe fountain that I got in Paris at a flea market. Beautiful French advertising poster. Here is my collection of early uh, uh, 1900s. Uh, car auto, automotive vases made from uranium glass. Moving further, collection of various uh, bar uh, accoutrements. Here is uh, uh, the wine cradle that they use on Downton Abbey. Um, here is some cadmium glass uh, that also reacts with black light. Uh, collection of stoppers from uh, from bourbon bottles, gothic chairs, French advertising posters. Here we have the collection of crystal decanters. Um, I have uh, bourbon in them for a blind tasting. Um, in them, I have a I have a list saved of what's in them so that um, I know what's in the in the bourbon bottles and uh, guests can taste them blind. Here we have a smoker. Inside these hidden drawers, uh, here's some Luxardo cherries. I forget what's in here. Oh, uh, chips for the smoker. Inside here, uh, more Luxardo cherries. My various collections of uranium glass and uh, 
um, Art Deco posters. More bourbon in built-in cases. Uh, this is an old uh, fern stand uh, that I use uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a wine bottle holder. Now this room has a couple of different looks. So uh, this is mood lighting, but I'm gonna turn on the black light. And now you see the collection of uh, uranium glass light up. The feet of uh, of the furniture glow because they're um, they're furniture coasters uh, made of uranium glass. Now the next look, I'm going to do a new entrance so that you can see uh, the difference between mood lighting and disco lighting. So I'm going to leave and I'm going to come back out. 